Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we'll be seeing about Kepler. So what is Kepler? Kepler is the most popular open source geospatial analysis tool. That is whenever any data set involves latitude and longitude then Kepler is a very good tool if you want to do analysis okay. So in this video we'll be seeing the Kepler UI tool and as well as we'll be seeing its implementation in Python okay. So let's get started. First, we'll just see about the basics of Kepler. So let me go to Kepler's website. So yeah, Kepler is uh, is uh, made by Uber guys. Okay, so you shout out to them. Uh, it's an open, powerful open source geospatial analysis tool, and you can see the different kind of an analysis done in Kepler. Okay, so we will see some of the analysis here. We can see the points being plotted. Then uh, we have this heat map. If you can see here, a beautiful heat map, then here we have a GeoJSON visualization of different area. Here we have 3D visualization of buildings. Okay, so on the basis of the different types, like here we have hexagonal representation of different attributes, maybe uh, crime rate or population in this area. Then you have lines which shows the connection between different these two points. You have arcs and so many other things. Okay. Now this is the beautiful Kepler visualization tool. Now let's get started and get deep dive into the UI tool. Okay. Now here if you want you, you, uh, you can add your own data set or I have uh, straight away picked up a sample data set of uh, New York taxi trips. Okay. So if you want to see how did I landed up here, uh, I'll show you wait. I just clicked on get started and then you uh, uh, you can add your own uh, you can add your own sample data set or you can just do a try sample data and pick any of the data set okay so here I've picked uh, New York taxi trips that is a tax that is a uber taxi trips okay yeah so this is the 3d visualization you can see here I just disabled the 3d for now yeah so here you, you, uh, you can see the US map and we are seeing the visualization of New York. So the first aspect which we see is the layers. Okay. Now on the basis of the data set, different kind of layers are created. Now this was a data set. <coughs> so this is the data set of uh, the New York taxi trips. Okay. And uh, here uh, we have three layers, the pickup point, uh, drop off point and the connection between the pickup and drop off point. So for more clarity, what I'll do is I'll just change the color. I'll convert it to red. Okay. So I've converted these to red. Now all the pickup points, the pickup latitude and longitude points are in red. Okay. I'll change the drop off point to uh, green maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll just make it green so it will be better. Yeah, now all the now all the green points which you are seeing are my drop off points and the red points are my pickup points. And now uh, let's just see it into and now what is this white thing? Now this white thing is nothing but the overlap between these two points. So when there is a lot of overlap now it turns white and hence on the upper level we can see a lot of white thing here. This is actually the uh, central park of New York, the most popular central park. And uh, these are all the colonies and here. So we can see how heavily these guys use uh, taxi trips here. Okay. For their travel. Uh, yeah. Now, if you want to see the uh, route that is between the pickup and drop off point, we'll just visualize it and yes, bang on. So don't get scared like what is this uh, these things. So these arc is nothing but a connection between your uh, pickup point and your drop off point. Okay. Now this is the form of arc. If you want it in the form of a straight line, what we'll try to do is we'll just change the type to line and now this connection are in red. Now here we'll take a small example. Uh, maybe just, just pick this one. Okay. this one so yes there yeah this one so here we can see that this was my pickup point okay and it's corresponding drop off point 
was somewhere there it's there here somewhere it seems okay we'll take a more clearer example here maybe so here we can see that the red point here this this red point was my pickup point and this is the drop off point for that guy okay how did a taxi went from here to there that is a question which i will be having for sure cuz <laughs> this seems to be a water body okay maybe there was a boat on which that taxi might have gone can be a case okay so in short this uh, this is a connection between the uh, pick up and the drop off point similarly you have different kind of layers uh, you can create your own layer also on the basis of the different uh different uh features in your data set the uh, the different types we which we have been given is point arc line grid uh, hex bin polygon heat map 3d and these are uh, these are the types okay so for these other types actually you need a geo json value in your uh, data set if you don't have geo json value you can also create your own geo json values okay now what geo json is and how it appears we'll see it uh, later on okay but for now just understand this thing that you can add your you you can you, you can select any data type let's say i select your point then i can add any of the feature in my data set okay let's say now because it's a point i need to pass it latitude and longitude okay now that the two latitudes and longitudes are already picked that is uh, the pick up and drop off okay i'll just select something else maybe uh Mm, let's just uh, select a line. So even for a line, it would ask you latitude and longitude. Uh, these things only. Okay. So maybe uh, in the future, so in in the future part of of this video, I'll be showing you how we can add a geo JSON. So that would be a differentiating thing here. Okay. But that is how you, you can add your own layers. Okay. Now this is what layer is. Now we will see about filters. Now what filter is? Now you have these connections between the pick up and drop off point. Let's say I want to add a, a filter on the fair amount. I want to see certain fair amount limits. So we can see on the basis of the fair amounts, the different kind of trips are selected. Okay. Now these are the different fair amounts. Okay. Here you can see these are the mostly the seven dollar ones and the cheaper ones. and accordingly on the basis of the fair amount you have different kind of selections made okay so these are comparatively expensive uh, travels and you can see it makes sense because they are very long distances okay because they are long they are bound to be expensive okay so this is the filter option where you can apply filter on any of the uh, any of the feature maybe it's trip amount total amount your fair amount okay now the next feature is our interactions okay now what tooltip is i'll explain here now whenever you uh, uh, take your mouse to any point it gives you an information about that point that information is coming from the options which you have selected here if you want to remove anything or add anything you uh, you can do it from here let's say if i remove your vendor now you won't see vendor there if you want to add anything let's say i have added fair amount okay let's say i have added tip amount and fair amount so you will see tip um, tip amount and fair amount of that uh, of the trip from that point okay this is what is tool tip then uh, then we will see about brush okay now on the, you you can increase the size of the brush now it is giving me more selection wait i'll just increase this filter you will have a more better idea yeah you have increased the radius and as you can see the circle here okay it is giving you more selections now that is nothing but the brush okay then what is geo encoder you can uh, enter your coordinates and then you uh, you can make a selection okay and this and these coordinates are nothing but if if you select them you will be able to see the coordinates of different points see uh, this is what the interaction is now we will see these parts if you want to uh, see this graph into 3d you can select a 3d map okay if you want to select into different language you you, uh, you can select your local currently it is supporting eight different locals this thing shows me the legends okay of different colors if you want to select any area 
then you uh, you, you, uh, you can maybe draw a polygon or rectangle in that typical area okay if i selected a polygon okay so i can draw a polygon and then maybe i can study that typical part in more detail okay now this is uh, and this is the dual map mode when you want to do analysis of two maps parallelly okay now we have seen filters we have seen layers we'll see about base map okay now here you can see a black kind of a background okay where labels are not visible if i select here you can see the different labels now okay if you want to see a different kind of map let's say satellite version so in satellite version you uh, you can have a feel of the actual ground structure there maybe buildings and all so here we can see that it is a central park area here wait i'll do one thing i'll just uh highlight yeah i'll remove this thing so you, this is the famous central park of new york and you can see the different colonies being established uh surrounding that central park okay and you have different kind of options called light okay you, you can see the similar graph in light if you want to see it in white version then you have muted light uh, muted night and etc okay and you, and you can also add your own map style also from your okay this is a custom map style option which uh, which you can add now from here uh, you uh, you can share and export your visualization then uh, here you, uh, you, uh, you can store it into a dropbox and maybe share that link with your uh, fellow colleague and this is an option for different bugs and uh, different user guides okay now this similar tool and this similar analysis you can embed and integrate in python also so for doing that all you have to do is just install the kepler gl library here i'm uh, reading the same new york trips data set in the form of pandas and here you you can see the same visualization being loaded all the options are same so no need to go to a uh, kepler goi tool and you can do all the visualizations here only everything there's nothing which you cannot do here okay all the options are here also okay yeah now if now uh, we will see about the geo json values now this column which you can see as geometry is nothing but a uh, but my geo json uh, data structure now what it is it, it is a polygon type data structure with different kind of coordinates and if you plot a geo json value this is how its visualization appear i'll just highlight it wait yeah i'll just remove this 3d version and maybe remove that uh, uh height thing here yes yeah so these these kind of selections which you can see of the different colonies and all this is nothing but my geo json polygon data structure and we are we were able to achieve this by creating this different column here sometimes it comes uh with the data set and sometimes you want to create it on your own okay if you want to know how to create uh, these kind of things i recommend you to uh, study some packages that is geo pandas and all which are extremely helpful for creating this geo json polygon uh, there are some other libraries also so uh, you, uh, you can google it and study them <coughs> we will see a 3d visualization uh here what i'll do is yes now i have uh, <coughs> on the basis of population i have created a 3d graph here so yeah you can see that on the basis of the population you can see a 3d graph here the higher the population it shows more number of people stay in that area so similarly you can create different kind of 3d visualization also of your data sets okay and finally if you want to save your visualization in the form of an html you can do it by using save to html or you can save the all these widgets also uh, with this option of saving notebook widget state and and you can also download it okay so yeah that's it guys that was this all about kepler so we saw how to use the kepler ui tool we also saw how to integrate in integrate it in python and uh, yes i i recommend you 
uh, explore uh, different geospatial data sets and see different kind of visualization on the map. Do it for India. Uh, if you are from India, if you are from an, a, a, another country, do it for your own country and maybe you can see different beautiful visualizations for your graph. Yeah, so that's it guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to a AS Learning for more such amazing tech stuff. Take care. Peace out.